this is um, unscripted, this is Psychiatry Failed Me, um, part two, I guess. Um, I hated the first part because there were some parts that you couldn't hear. There was a part where I said to calm my anger, and the word anger was like so deep that you couldn't even hear me say it. So this is part two, unscripted, no visuals, I apologize, don't really care. Um, I don't want to get off topic, but I like doing the audio only because you can, um, when, when you record with this webcam in Audacity, you can mess around with the volume. When you record with the visuals, you can't really mess with the audio. I mean, you can technically separate the visuals from the audio, but I don't, that's too, I can do it, I can do that, but I don't want to waste my time, but I'm wasting my time now talking about that, but anyways, anyways, I wasted my time talking about that. Anyway, psychiatry, yeah, I just want to recap about the false part, um, how psychiatrists think that my lack of emotions and empathy, no, my lack of, they think, psychiatry, Psychiatrists think that my lack of emotions and lack of empathy is due to other mental health reasons. I think it's just trauma. That's just me. It makes sense because it happened later on in life. You know what I mean? Um, you know. And I really hate... I know this is off topic, but I really hate looking at my keyboard because it's all... Dirty. Um, I used to think I had OCD. I, you know, doing some research on, o on OCD. Um, I was never diagnosed. I think it's, I think I, it's for the best because I, I, I think I'm a germophobe, but I'm not obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, because I don't have intrusive thoughts. All of my, all of my weird thoughts I like. All of my dark thoughts I like. Um, you know, like, some guy can't watch Halloween uh, movies because of his mental issues. With me, I can, you know, I can handle almost anything. Um, I don't want to get into detail, but yeah, I can handle almost anything. Anyways, just, yeah, psychiatry, they, they, they listen to me talk about me not sure, like, they see me not smiling, they hear me in a flat monotone, and they don't even see me that long, they only see me for a couple of sessions, they make their mind up that, oh, he was always like this, when I was not, I was not always like this. They don't get the time to understand my full story. They judge me. They think it. They think I was born this way, but I was actually made this way. There's different causes for the flat effect. There's different causes for emotional numbness and lack of empathy, and they don't want to take the time to understand. They just judge me and say that he was always like this, and they, you know, that's how they treat me. That's how they treated me. So that's just a recap. I know I talked about that in the part one, but I want to talk about some more stuff in this part two. Um, they think my weird beliefs is due to... I don't want to name drop mental disorders because I don't want people to get offended. I don't want people to get... A, I don't want people to get... A, I don't want people to get offended that I'm disagreeing with the psychiatrists. And I don't want to name drop a disorder, you know, but... Um, <clears throat> I think my weird beliefs is a uh, trauma related. It might not even be trauma related. I think I'm just trying to find the truth of life of something. I don't even know what the fuck it is, you know. I'm trying to find like, you know, cuz I I don't agree with the mainstream beliefs. But psychiatrists think that I'm mentally ill because I'm not con I I once read an article that said that if you have mainstream beliefs, you're mentally healthy, but if you have unconventional beliefs, then you're more likely to be mentally ill. I disagree. Um, I think you can be unconventional. And I think you can be 
unconventional and mentally healthy. But, yeah, that's how psychiatrists failed me. They don't believe in my PTSD. I don't even know why. Maybe, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I told the psychiatrists the story in its entirety, but maybe I didn't. And even if I did, they disbelieve it probably because it, it's, it sounds unbelievable. You have a vice principal that does what? You know, I can't really... S I, I, I've said it in one video, but I don't like repeating it. Um, but, you know, that's probably another reason why psychiatrists have failed me, because they either I didn't tell them the full story of my trauma, or I did, but they don't believe it for some fucking reason, because it's unbelievable, you know? I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I'm not looking for medication, I'm just looking for the labels, and I'm looking for the help to get over it, because that, that and, 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 and like I said, I think I said this in the part one, I'm a loner due to trauma. I'm not socially awkward. I'm not socially anxious. I used to be socially anxious. I used to be anxious, but now it's due to trauma. I'm not... They, they, always, conf they always associate me with... Uh, I just don't want to get into it because I don't want to get cancelled. But, you know, they, they always think I'm... They, they don't get why that I'm a loner. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that... Basically, what I'm trying to say is they they're not they don't understand why I'm a loner. They they don't understand why I I I cling on to weird beliefs. The the they judge me. Um, maybe the weird beliefs is not trauma related. Maybe it's. Um, I think the Satanism was trauma related because n now I realize that Satanism is kind of out there. I'm talking about spiritual. The, you know, theistic Satanism. It's kind of out there mentally. No offense to anyone that practices that, but um, because where is proof that Satan exists? You know, God might exist, but Satan, Satan create everything. I don't know. That's not, not no offense, but that sounds a little bit. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. Maybe God is like Satan. Maybe Satan is like God. I don't know. But that, I just consider that all cultural. Um, I, I gotta, you know what I mean. Um, I, I don't want to get people upset. But I just consider that cultural ideas. You know. Cultural, you know. There's a word that I want to say. But I don't want to say it. Because I don't want to offend people. But... It's just cultural, but it, y y you know, you know, it's just, it's whatever, but anyways, but, you know, I'm not looking for medication, I just want doctors to believe in my trauma. Even people online, they think that I'm a loner because I'm socially awkward or some other weird reason, they don't get it. You know, I think my sensitivity to noise, I think it went away because it was trauma, it was a trauma thing, you know. There's people that are sensitive to noise that never outgrow it. I outgrew it, and I think the reason why, um, I outgrew my my sensory issues to sound. I I don't I'm not sensitive to sound anymore. I think the reason why, not to repeat myself, but I think the reason why I'm not sensitive to sound is because it was trauma related, and I got old for it. If it was some other reason, it would stay with me lifelong, like the other people. There's two types of people. There's people that are sensitive to sound permanently, and then there's people that are temporarily because of trauma. I'm the second one, temporarily because of trauma. However, there are people with trauma that are permanently affected by sound. I know I'm talking fast, and I apologize. I'm sorry. I, hopefully I wasn't too close to the mic. I have the volume recording thing low, so hopefully I'm not too loud, I, but I, anyways, everyone's saying how it's odd how I got over my sensory issues to sound, I don't, now that I think about it, I don't think it's odd because it was trauma, if it was something else, then yeah, that would be weird, but because it was trauma and I got over it, it's not weird if that makes any sense, I don't know. Basically, what I'm trying to say is psychiatrists failed me. They don't. They never saw me that long. 
they saw me for like a couple of months or even a few weeks or some crazy, I don't even know, some crazy shit like that. And yeah, due to all of this, you know, I just, most of my issues in my opinion is trauma. I was traumatized when I was really, really young. And I think I should just wrap up the video because it's getting too long and I don't want to get interrupted and I, I apologize for talking fast. Speaking about talking fast, one doctor thought I was, uh, I don't want to name drop the condition, but one doctor thought I had a mood issue. Let's just say that. I don't think I have a mood issue because it's not random. My moods are reactive and, and that sounds like trauma reacting to the environment, but doctors never understand. They always think I have some form of mood delusion, some kind of psychosis, something, when in reality it's just trauma in my, in, you know, in my case, and doctors don't understand it, you know. And this is the end of the video. That's how psychiatrists failed me. That's part two. So, I'm never gonna get under, I'm, I'm never gonna be understood by anyone.